Welcome back to the Monster Museum Minecraft Hardcore Challenge for April 2015. Uh, this is uh, day two, third episode of the month. Um, we're going to get back to it here. I was in search of what I believe is the final dungeon. Let's go ahead and turn on our here zombie roaring already. Um, so I hope I'm headed still in the right direction. I'm going for minus 287 and 188 plus 188. So it looks like I'm going the right way. Oops. Well, we need to go up here. Nope, going, yeah, going the right way this way. Going the right way this way. Minus 287 plus 188. Gotta go this way. Okay, so... Um, let's go ahead and raid this last dungeon. Get our... Let's see, we have uh, five name tags so far. Go ahead and eat the last of our zombie flesh so we can run. Um, 188. Okay, so we're basically there. We just gotta go 150 blocks in this direction. So after we get to this last dungeon, um, we... oh shoot. I guess uh, it doesn't make much sense to go around, does it? Nope. Oh, I'm so tempted to just jump down into that water. <laughs> I probably wouldn't make it, and I would die. And I would feel pretty stupid. Um, we got to find a good place to set up our museum. Um, so uh, this will kind of end the more functional part of the challenge, and the interesting part of the challenge will be figuring out where uh, to build it. In fact, this looks like a pretty cool place. Nice and open and flat. We might just come right back up here. We got this lava fall down here. And we're close by. So this is 287, 188 is right here. Um, yep, okay. So let's just go down to the bottom so we have to dig that out. Get as low as we can go. And digging down cross eight blocks is probably faster than digging down ten. And this one is real high, right? It says yes, it's at 52. Whoa! Wasn't paying close attention there. Hello, zombies! do need some more rotten flesh, so I don't mind having a couple some extra spawn here. A little extra food. And grab that food. Yum. Oh, another piece of bread. That's excellent. Last name tag. And bucket. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, head back to the surface. So we got this stuff done, and... Um, Got a nice ravine here, which could be useful. We'll be careful about that, though. Let's, in fact, let's make a little, little safety there. Okay. So, uh, we've got our name tags, and now it's about making a museum. Um, let's go ahead and Turn these coordinates off now. Don't really need those. Uh, let's go over here and let's set up for um, set up a base, a little base. I think. What have we got? We got a nice waterfall over there, an overhang. This looks pretty. Yeah, we got some sheep here. Might be able to use their wool. That looks great. Ooh, nice dark cave over there, too. OK. 
Okay. So, uh, we'll dig a little cave out for a little house out for ourselves here. We'll worry about some of this later. Let's uh, put a crafting table down and mark out our bench. And um, we have an axe. Let's go ahead and cut some wood down um, first. We have any wood? Yeah, we have some wood here. Okay. So let's uh, make ourselves a chest. Um, we'll carve out a little more space here for ourselves. Just want a safe place at night to put our stuff away. Nothing fancy. Classic hole in the wall base. Okay. And we'll put away all of our building materials for now. It's a good thing to have around. Let's keep our bread on us. Keep that on us. Keep a little cobble on us. Let's get that away. Keep the bone meal on us. Things that will come in useful. Handy. Go ahead and make some of this. Did I have any more iron? I didn't. I'm going to have to collect some more iron. Um... But we can get onto that later. Uh, let's go ahead and make our doors. Okay, so we have a place to hide, a place to cook out here. Let's go ahead and cut down some more trees. And let's set up a little farm for ourselves so we can survive the rest of the uh, challenge. We'll have to do that a little bit. Um, I have plenty of bread right now. Okay, so our mob catching zones. I think we've got to set up a couple different ones here. We'll have our basic zombie uh, area. Actually, you know what? I want to try to do these elevated somewhat. Um, so let's not do it that way. Let's fill this in, make this the ground floor. And let's do it like this. This is where a little bit more planning is going to pay off. Let's go over here. I'm going to make ourselves some materials. Because what we can do, if we plan correctly, is catch the mobs first and then build cages around them second we do it correctly. Yep. And we'll just need a little more dirt. Wonderful. Let's grab some more dirt. Build all the stuff that we're not going to keep around out of dirt. And we will fill it in with good looking material later. This is just a zombie and zombie villager trap zombie or zombie villager trap, so uh, no problem at all. Just boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we can go fall in. They can fall in with us. We can get out. They can't get out. And we just need to build up a roof. Okay, so that's be a zombie, and we'll put next to it a place for a zombie villager. Got to get this done during the day, so that at night. And then we need one more of these for baby zombie. Okay, so. 
zombie, zombie villager, baby zombie. We can keep making these. Um, we are going to go ahead and head down and do some more mining in a little bit. Um, but let's go ahead and cook up this. Because we are going to need um, a lot more iron if we're going to make an anvil and uh, name all these guys. So that is something we will be doing. So we have enough for three. We need four more iron to make an anvil. And we'll need lots of wood this month, so we'll go ahead and uh, make a little tree farm here. stick around for a little bit. I want to get a couple mobs captured. Um, oh, I don't have the name tags yet done, though. But for zombies, I'm gonna not going to name them, I don't think. I think I'll be able to get Mr. Zombie here trapped by just doing things like this. Pick something up. Pick something up. Sometimes they like to pick up weapons better than... Nope, he's not going to pick anything up. Okay, you know what you're going to have to do then? Bye. These guys would be uh, thinking of how to trap an Enderman. I can't think of a way yet, but I think, I think Endermen can go in mine carts. Um, You'll have to do a little bit more research on that. Okay. Um, so it doesn't do me much good about trapping any other thing else other than a zombie right now because I don't have enough iron to name them and they will just despawn by morning. So I think, but this is a great, looks like we've uh, picked a good spot. Um, all the mobs are spawning. I wanted to make sure I picked a nice wide open area so that I could... Uh-oh, I think I looked at this guy. Um, so we picked a nice open area here and we can, we can do that. But let's go ahead down and do a little caving tonight, get our iron and supplies, and then we will focus next episode on... Um, Finishing up uh, the traps. We know we are real close to a ravine down here. Real close. Too close. Getting this episode recorded at the last minute is Friday already. Have a busy, busy week. Um, so I didn't have enough time to do any planning for this episode, but I knew I had to get it out today. I knew I just had a little bit of functional stuff that I needed to get done. So I hope I can accomplish that. Okay. Now I don't see a lot of iron down here. Hmm. It's kind of a bummer. I was hoping I would. Just come down and find all the iron I needed real quick. I'll keep making our way down to see any iron yet. None yet. Huh. They're down low enough. 46 is a pretty good... Oh, there's some over there. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a little bridge. like to get a few stacks. <laughs> of course, one stack would be just fine. So it's a little, a little bit exaggerating with 
I'd also like to light this area up. I don't want lots of mobs spawning down here. I want them spawning on the surface near our museum. At least for now. Extra piece of dirt came in quite handy there. over these corners when it's gravel. Huh. Don't see too much. Oh, there's some iron. Whoa! Okay, mistake. Let's go ahead and get rid of him. Not a terrible fall, but that didn't feel so good. Buddy. All right, I found the iron cave at least. Let's get that out on the bar just to see, make sure I'm keeping track. Grab a little bit more coal while we're down here. torches, and a little bit more exploring. This cave seems to go off. Some open areas. Not here. Some more iron. Do wonder how deep I am. Still 40. It's pretty high still. Quite quiet down here actually. It must still be night out. Um, I will have to turn on the uh, time check when day two turns over here. So we are down below. I'd like to get up before morning. Uh, so I think with 35 iron, I might just call it quits at this point. Just take one last little look. Nothing down there. last easy four pieces right here. Oops. Boom, boom. And let's get out of here, I guess. Run down this way. Just a little bit of caving, you can get a stack of iron pretty quickly, like that. Um, here we go. And this will help because we're going to need iron tools and stuff for the whole month, too. I, I have a feeling we're going <laughs> to stress out our armor and our sword quite a bit. Okay. All right, that covers this pretty well. Let's go ahead and head up. I believe we came down right over here, so let's go up this nice circuitous staircase we made. And it looks like it's morning, so it's going to be the end of the episode here in a moment. Uh, let's get the heck out of here. I hear Mr. Skeleton shooting at me. And I see Mr. Creeper there on the cliff. But it is the dawn 
of day two and unless we get lucky with a zombie nearby over here I think we're gonna call this episode a success um, and leave it right here thanks for watching this has been